Hi guys. Today is holiday Monday in Vancouver and I'm really glad that it's actually overcast outside because I should be on my road bike training as I'll be biking through Italy in the Dolomites next month. So I should be collecting the, the hill climb kilometers, but because it's overcast, I'm here in my studio. I'm actually getting ready for Parker Art Salon, which is this upcoming weekend. The artists in this um, building, some of us will be hanging our artwork in the hallways and it'll be open to the public. So today I need to get going on some of the, the framing and the documentation of my artwork before I share it in person with the public. But I thought I would record a video. I was varnishing some paintings yesterday and one of the paintings I varnished is this one behind me. And seeing that I'm flying in and out of, of Florence on this trip, I thought I'd be a little bit nostalgic and talk a bit about this painting of Florence. So I've been lucky enough to travel to Florence three times and I'll be there for my fourth time next month. One of those, two of those trips were for work trips. I did a detour and stopped by in Florence. One of those trips was for vacation. So for this trip, it will be vacation and I will be touring the Uffizi and the Accademia galleries. And on my very first trip, I did two walking tours. One was a tour of the galleries. And then on the second day, I did a food tour. And I just quickly looked it up online. It's still in existence. It's called tasteflorence.com. So taste of Florence, but the website you, you drop the of. And I heard about it on CBC News just before I went to Italy and Tony is still involved with the, the tour. So I did a tour with her and at the end of the tour I asked her about any recommendations where to go and one of the things she said was to go up to Piazza Michelangelo and that overlooks the Arno River and you'd have the Uffizi Gallery right here, the um, Ponte Vecchio is there and you can watch the, the sunset. So it was just a beautiful setting. And the third time I was in Florence, I had less than 24 hours in the city. So I beelined it to the market, bought a container of strawberries, um, a bottle of wine, and went up to this location and watched the sunset. And that's where the picture or the photograph of this view came for the painting. Another interesting thing about this painting is it's been stored above my couch for the past couple of years. And now I've brought it into my studio to varnish it along with some other paintings. And I ended up doing a couple tweaks that I've noticed over the years. And I can't believe how much easier it is to do in a studio than in a laundry room where I had limited space to paint. And so I ended up, you can see there's the, the lit area here and your eyes really focus on that spot. Because there were flashes of white in other areas, your eyes didn't know where to focus. So it brought a lot of focus into the painting. And I also warmed up the sunset. So you might not see in this video, but I can post a photograph of this that I've warmed up the sky and it looks more like a sunset, but it's just such a beautiful setting. And I'm looking forward to on this upcoming trip, I'll, I'll hang out up here again. I think that's all I need to say. I can't think of anything else to say about this painting. It's obviously a special place. I've been there a couple times. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this artwork, please um, fire off an email. It is available. It, um, it is 30 inches by 30 inches on canvas painted with acrylic. It's just a beautiful setting in uh, Florence. I highly recommend if you can get up to Piazza Michelangelo. And also another fantastic viewpoint is on the other side, but it, you have to ride up with a bus and that would be Fiesole. So if you have any questions about Florence, don't hesitate to post and ask questions and I'll try to answer them having been there a few times. It's a beautiful place. The museums are gorgeous. The gardens are gorgeous. Um, and it's just so, it's such an inspiring place to go to. And obviously it inspires me because I paint it. Now I better get back to framing, as I mentioned. And hopefully I'll see you this weekend at Parker Art Salon. Have a great day.